When I thought about the words beyond the glory to God in the highest that we all know, I guess one of the things I tried to think about was what that first night would have been. And this sight and sound of all these angels singing in the, the winter sky uh, above Bethlehem. What would that have felt like if you were a simple shepherd having never seen anything like that in your life? So that's what I really tried to capture in the lyrics, is kind of the breathless excitement of those shepherds who saw and heard that. And then tried to translate that breathless excitement into the music itself. And so it was kind of a case I couldn't even tell you if it was always the words that came before the music, but it was really a case where one fed the other. Something else I really thought about a lot in putting the words together is that idea that peace came to the world on that night. So that's why the refrain is glory to God in the highest heaven. Peace reawakens the earth. This idea that the world had been caught in this uh, gray, cold reality that was changed forever by the coming of the Messiah. And one of the things that that Messiah brought us, at least momentarily, was a sense of the possibility of peace.
That piece was written by one of our good friends, Gregory Berg, who's uh, written a few pieces for us over the years. That was commissioned in 2013, and we recorded it in 2015. I've done all kinds of things with the Choral Arts Society over the years, and it's always been a great pleasure. I've soloed with them, I've played piano for them, I have played organ for them, I have done a couple master classes for them, and uh, arranged for them, and on one really exciting occasion, got to actually compose a piece for them, and it was a real wonderful experience to do that. I had the pleasure a few years ago, actually, the pleasure and stress of soloing with the Choral Arts Society the first time they did Karl Orff's dramatic cantata, Carmina Burana, an incredibly difficult piece for the chorus and for the soloists. I really had no business even attempting to, to do that with Jim Ast, and I gave it my best try. But one thing I took away from that experience was a newfound appreciation for the skill of the singers in the Choral Arts Society, and in particular, the way that they were able to sing complex rhythms so impressively. And Jim had asked me for a special set of Gloria settings to compose a Gloria setting for uh, the Choral Arts Society for their next Lessons and Carols. And hearing the chorus do Carmina Burana so impressively inspired me to write music far more complicated than I had ever composed before. Most of the music that I had composed up until that point was the kind of music that my church choir at Holy Communion could learn in a single rehearsal. And so it just kind of naturally the way I tend to work as a composer, I tend to write relatively simply. This was a case in which I made a concerted effort to write music far more complex and challenging. And the result was a real experience of growth for me as a composer to write this piece that had complicated and differing time signatures and just a harmonic and rhythmic language that was a lot more sophisticated than I was used to doing. And uh, the Choral Arts Society enjoyed it, sang it well, and Hal Leonard actually ended up publishing the piece. So I think it ended up being uh, an adventure that worked out very, very well. When Hal Leonard expressed interest in publishing Shepherd's Glory up, they actually asked me to slightly simplify it because they thought the typical high school choir that might perform it would find it a bit daunting. So I did actually simplify it a little bit. So if you actually seek out the Hal Leonard publication of Shepherd's Gloria, it won't be the same as what the Choral Arts Society sang because they actually did it in its original form with its original uh, ferocious difficulty. Uh, it was always uh, exciting on every occasion that I got to hear them performing, to uh, just listen to these singers so committed to excellence doing such a great job with this piece. <laughs>